All right, so we're going to get to it. I know we only got 15 minutes. Uh, I'm also going to do a, a longer class with everything uh, wrapped together. But I'm going to try to get through a few things in, uh, on this class. All right, first thing, uh, give me Romans 15 and 4. We always start off with Romans 15 and 4. All right. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. What? For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, uh -huh. that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So the Bible was written for us to learn from, okay? Written for us to learn from. So everything that goes on in the Bible, we need to go back, read it, see what our forefathers did to get over it, get through it, and also learn from the mistakes of our forefathers and foremothers, all right? So, give me, first scripture, give me Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, and verse 27. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 27. So, we've wronged God for so long, so long, man. We've done wickedness. When God, the one, is the very person that gave us breath, gave us life, and we've always rebelled against the Father. Always. But we'll put everybody else above him. You know what I mean? We'll put everybody else above him. But we didn't want to put God first. And that's the problem, and that's the reason why we're going through the conditions that we have today. Going through the curses that we have on us today. Because we do not want to do what God tells us to do. We show, and that's showing hatred towards God. You know what I mean? Come on. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 27. Read. For the worshiping of idols not to be named is the beginning, uh -huh. the cause. So the worship, he said, for the worshiping of idols, meaning idolatry. Idolatry is what caused of the things that we're going through right now today. All right? Us uh, breaking God's laws. So God did what? He put us in slavery. He put yokes of iron upon our necks. He put us in the slums, in the ghettos. He put us in fear to everything because we didn't want to serve God the proper way, period, which is easy. Just do what God tells us to do. Keep the commandments. But our people is rebellious as hell, and we got to fix that. All right, read on. Start from the top. For the worshiping of idols, not to be named, uh -huh. is the beginning, uh -huh. the cause. The cause is the beginning, the cause, come on. And the end. And the end, because that's going to put you to death, come on. Of all evil. Of all evil. All of that. When you commit sin, it's almost low-key you committing the idolatry, because why? You're not doing what God tells you to do. Period. So it, it's, it's entangled in everything when it involves in sin because you ain't doing, you're not, you ain't obeying God, you're disobeying him. All right? Read, uh, give me 1 Samuel 15 and 23. 1 Samuel chapter 15 and the 23rd chapter. 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 23. Come on. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Because our people are rebellious as hell. We do, we hate, we really hate people to tell us what to do. Especially God. Mm -hmm. We don't want to hear nothing God tell us to do. And we wonder why we got gout. We number one in heart disease, HIV, all, every freaking disease on the planet, we number one. Number one. We number one. Because we don't want to do what God tells us to do. Come on. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. It's like witchcraft. It's evil. Come on. And stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. So... It's the same thing. Everything all leads back to idolatry. Not serving the Most High God. Putting things before God. And that's why the Most High God kept calling us whores. Committing whoredoms. Because we were serving so many gods that we didn't know. We were serving gods that people made in front of us. And I'm going to get that. All right? Give me, give me Proverbs chapter 8, verse 35. You just, you, just, you just gave me that one right there. Proverbs, Proverbs chapter, chapter 8, verse 36. But he that sinneth against me. Start, start, at, start at 35. Verse 35. Come on. For whoso findeth me findeth life. So if you want to find God, if you deal with what God tells you to do, you keep the commandments of God, you're going to find the most high God, all right? You're going to make it to the kingdom. It's, 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 it's inevitable, all right? Just do what he says, right? It says, for whoso findeth me, findeth life, because I won't put you behind a death. Come on. 
and shall obtain favor of the Lord. Come on. But he that sinneth against me. And if you what? Sinneth against me. If you sin against God, though. You sin against God. You don't want to listen to God. You don't want to keep the commandments of God. Come on. Wrongeth his own soul. He said, you wronged your own. You didn't put, you didn't commit suicide. You've committed suicide. You put it on yourself. He said, listen, listen to the words it is. He said, for whosoever findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. Come on. All that hate me. Love death because you show hatred, but guess what? The Most High God gonna put you to death. We in we in the we in the last days right now. We see all this stuff, all prophecy lining up in the Bible right now, and people still playing games. People still playing games. Y'all better chill out with that, man. All right, uh, give me, give me. Uh, Uh, give me Ezekiel chapter 20 Give me Ezekiel chapter 20 And verse 39 Ezekiel chapter 20 verse 39 Come on As for you O house of Israel Thus saith the Lord God Go ye Serve ye everyone his idols And hereafter also if he, if ye will not hearken unto me, but pollute ye my holy name no more with your your gifts and with your idols. He was like, man, go ahead and serve your other gods. Don't even put, don't even mention me. Don't even mention my name. Don't even mention me with your stuff. Because guess what? We was we was sacrificing and all this stuff, but it wasn't in the name of the Father. We wasn't doing it correctly. It's like, man, go serve them other guys. Go do that. I'm going to put you to death. Come on. Verse 40. For in mine holy mountain, in the mountain of the height of Israel, saith the Lord God. Come on. There shall all the house of Israel, all of them in the land serve me. Okay. Come on. There will I accept them. And there will I require your offerings. He said, when you serve me, then I will accept you. When you do what I say, then I would accept you. Then I will have your back. Then I will be there for my people. Until then, nah. Come on. And the first fruits of your oblations uh -huh. with all your holy things. Come on. I will accept you with your sweet savor when I bring you out from the people and gather you out of the countries wherein ye have been scattered. And I will be sanctified in you before the heathen. Come on. And ye shall know that I am the Lord When I shall bring you into the land of Israel Into the country for the which I lifted up mine hand To give it to your fathers Okay, give me Jeremiah 25 and 4 Jeremiah chapter 25 verse 4 Jeremiah chapter 25 verse 4 uh -huh. And the Lord hath sent unto you all his servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them. But ye have not hearkened nor inclined your ears to hear. We never wanted to listen to what God had to say. Even when we came out of Egypt. We came out of Egypt, man. And we, st you talking about the most High God did wonders, did miracles in front of our face. We came into the wilderness and we still rebel. We still want to go back and serve other gods. I mean, it's a demon, man. That you know that that our people love doing everything besides coming back to their true God. Period. You can give them all. This, you can give them the scriptures. You can tell a Christian anything in the book. Show it to him. Prove it. Not my white Jesus. Right. You know what I mean. They white Jesus is, is, is God. You know what I mean? Not my white Jesus. Not my God. But then again, the Bible says what it says. All right? Come on. Verse 5. They said, turn ye again. Now every one from his evil way. Turn again from your evil ways. Come on. And from the evil of your doings. Uh -huh. And dwell in the land that the Lord hath given unto you and to your fathers forever and ever. So we are, we are holding our own self back by not doing what God tells us to do. The Most High God got it all lined up. We're guaranteed the kingdom if we keep the commandments. Guaranteed. But we don't want to keep ourselves back. 
We don't want to do what God tells us to do. And a lot of people is going to pay for that. That's why one third of our people is going to make it. Two thirds have to die. They have to die. They can't come to the kingdom. They're not fit for it. They don't deserve it. You know what I mean? They don't deserve the kingdom of heaven. That's why one third is going to make it and two thirds is going to die. All right. Um, now, since we went over that on how we how we basically uh, wrong God, committed sin against God, show hatred towards God, we need to show like, OK, how do we love God properly? What do we need to do first? We got to repent. We got to repent, make supplication to our father, period. That's how off the top. We got to tell the father, like, you know, we have to make supplication. Tell him what we did wrong. You got to confess your sins. All right. You got that? First Kings 8. Yes, sir. First Kings 8, verse 45. Then hear thou prayer. Excuse me. Verse 46. Yeah. If they sin against thee, Come on. for there is no man that sinneth not, uh -huh. and thou be angry with them Come on. and deliver them to the enemy. Because the Most High God was angry with us and delivered us to the enemy. All right? We still deliver to the enemy to this day, but we're waking up. We know who we are, according to the Bible. We're keeping the commandments. We're keeping the high holy days. We're doing the best that we can in this captivity. The Most High God is hearing our prayers. He's hearing our supplication right now. That's why all these rumors of wars and stuff like that, all these things is lining up. All right? Everything is lining up right now. It's time for you to get right because Christ can come any time. The Most High God can send Christ down at any time. Mm -hmm. Will you be ready? Come on. So that they, they carry them away captives unto a land of the enemy far or near. Come on. Yet if they shall bethink themselves. Now, but if we remember, if we remember what we did, if we remember all the idolatry, all the fornication that we did, and we realize that, listen, we've wronged our God. We got to change. We got to repent. Come on. Yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land, whether they were carried captive uh -huh. and repent. And repent, meaning change your ways. Come on. And make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive, saying, we have sinned. We have to, we have to tell God, listen, we've sinned. We've screwed all the way up. Please forgive us, Father. We've sinned against you. All right? We have to make supplication to the Father. Come on. And have done perversely. We've done the most wicked, vile things against our God. And the Most High God still loves us today. He's still here with us. Any other race on the face of the planet Earth that went through what we went through, they'll be extinct. Period. Period. They will be extinct. We're the only people that went through what we went through over the years, and we're still here, and we're getting stronger. We're the only people. We are the superior of all nations. We have to understand that. Come on. We have sinned and have done perversely. Uh -huh. We have committed wickedness. We have committed every wicked thing under the earth. Now it's high time that we come back and serve God properly. All right. Uh, give me 1 John 5 and 1. 1 John chapter 5. Uh... Start at verse 1. It's time for us to wake up, man. It's time for us to wake up. We got to learn how to love God all over again. Period. We got to learn how to do it again. All right? Because if we don't learn how to love the most high God, how are we going to learn, learn how to love ourselves? How can we learn how to love our spouse? How can we learn how to love our children? How can we learn how to love our brothers and sisters in the body? How can we learn how to do that if we don't know how to love, love God? Come on. The, per, the very person that put us on the planet. Mm -hmm. That gave us existence. Gave us breath. Gave us a soul. Come on. This is 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. Come on. For this is the love of God. No, the, 5 verse 1. 5 verse 1. Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, uh -huh. and everyone that loveth him that beget love loveth him also that is begotten of him. Come on. By this we know that we love the children of God. Come on. When we love God. When we what? When we love 
God. When we love God, come on. And keep his commandments. Come on, but come on. For this is the love of God. What's the love of God? That we keep his commandments. That's how we love the most high God. We keep his commandments. We do what he tell us to do. Period. That's the only way we're going to be able to rule the earth again as we once have before. But this time is going to be forever, but we got to have our minds right. We got to be right. We got to make sure that we doing what God tell us to do, keeping his commandments. That's how we show that we love the most high God. That's how we show that we love our brothers, our brothers and sisters in this walk. That's how we do it, by keeping the commandments. Come on. And his commandments are not grievous. And his commandments can't hurt you. It only benefits you. You know what I mean? It only benefits you. Give me, uh, give me, uh, give me Matthews. Matthews 22 and 37. Matthews chapter 22, verse 37. Come on. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart uh -huh. and with all thy soul. That's how we need to love. With all our heart, with all our soul. Why? Because he's the one that gave it to us. Come on. And with all thy mind. And we should be doing it to the best of our ability. Come on. This is the first and great commandment. This is the first and the greatest commandment. That's the first and the greatest commandment. That's why I said in the order that I said we got to learn how to love God first. Then we got to learn how to love ourselves. Then we got to learn how to love our, our spouse, our brothers, our children. That's how we got to do it. Come on. Verse 38. This is the first and great commandment. Uh -huh. And the second is like unto it. Now the second one is just like it. Come on. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Because if I, if I love God, I'm going to love my brother and my sister. Period. If I hate my brother and my sister. I freaking hate God. Period. Come on. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Come on. On these two commandments hang all the law in the, the prophets. So when you, when you love the most high God and you love your neighbor by keeping the commandments, all the laws fall underneath both of those commandments. You're going to do right by your brother. You're not going to steal. You're not going to rob. You're not going to commit, commit fornication. You're not going to commit adultery against your brother. I mean, against your, uh, somebody else's wife or husband. You're not going to commit those things, right? So you're going to follow in suit with the law, statutes, and commandments that fall under these two commandments. All right? Give me uh, John 15. John 15, uh, verse 9. John chapter 15 verse 9 uh. As the Father have loved me Come on So have I loved you Come on Continue ye in my love uh -huh. If ye keep my commandments Ye shall abide in my love If you keep my commandments You're going to abide, going to abide in my love Come on Even as I have kept my Father's commandments uh -huh. And abide in his love So we got to keep the commandments of God Alright Period Period in faith in Christ. Uh, last scripture, give me 1 John 4 and verse 15. 1 John chapter 4 and verse 15. 1 John chapter 4, verse 15. We gotta learn how to love God again, but come on. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him, uh -huh. and he in God. Come on. And we have known and believed the love that God hath. To us. Half to us. Come on. God is love. God is what? God is love. God is love. God is the commandments. Come on. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God. So if we keep the commandments, we dwell with God. Come on. And God in him. Come on. Herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Come on. Because as he is, uh -huh. so are we in this world. Come on. There is no fear in love. We should not even fear. It says there is no fear in love. Why? Come on. But perfect love casteth out fear. So it says there is no fear in love. There's no fear in keeping the commandments. There's no fear in that. All right? If you do have any fear of this, that means that you lack extreme faith. You lack faith here up and down. All right? 
the commandments can only help us. Dwelling in God's love can only help us and make us strive to the next step. And that's the kingdom. Come on. But perfect love casteth out fear. Come on. Because fear hath torment. Uh -huh. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. <laughs> so if you fear, you're not made perfect in love. And you're not fit for the kingdom. Come on. We love him because he first loved us. He loved us first. He the one that created us. He put us on this earth. We owe God everything. None of us right now on this earth today is deserving of life right now for the things that we've done. But the most high God kept us at bay. He had our back still. Just imagine in Egypt, right? <laughs> in Egypt, we walked around, what, 40 years in the, in the wilderness? wilderness? And I dang shoes didn't even have a mark on them. Our clothes didn't, wasn't raggedy, nothing. The most high God kept us up in those times and we still talk back to him. We, we did major evil and wickedness. He still was there for us until he, until he had to put, put them all to death before, he, before we went to the promised land. They paid for it, but the most high God was with us. He gave us chances. He gave us mercy. He gave us grace back then. We've always had that. You know what I mean? He gave us that mercy. He could have put us to death immediately. He could have put us right back into slavery. But our people are rebellious as hell. Come on. Verse 20. Uh -huh. If a man say, I love God, and hateth his brother. But if a man say, hey, I love God. I believe in God. I do what God says. But you hate your brother. The person you see, the person that you can make amends with. And have a conversation with to get 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 over the things y'all issues. If you hate your brother, come on. He is a liar. He is a liar. Come on. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he hath seen. Like I just said, if you don't love the brother that you see, come on. How can he love God whom he have not seen? How is that possible? How can you say you love God and you ain't never seen him, but you see this brother you fighting, grew up with this person or this sister? From yay high, one little spitz back, you hate this person now. But then again, you say you love God. It's impossible. That's why he said uh, the, the first commandment, you got to love God with all thy heart and all thy soul and all thy mind. And then the one is like unto it. You got to love your brother. Period. It, it goes hand in hand. Come on. Verse 21. Uh -huh. And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God loveth his brother also. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org